वेलकम टू कोड्स ऑफ एट टेक इन ऑर्डर टू विजुअलाइज आर डेटा इन बेका वी नीड सम डेटा फाइल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दो डेटा फाइल्स वॉट इज द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द डेटा फाइल्स एक्सेट्रा सो वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन बाई क्रिएटिंग अ फाइल इन एम एस एक्सेल दैट इज अ सी एस जी फाइल सो यू कैन टाइप एक्सेल and then you can open on create a new blank workbook so in this workbook you can type in your data so if you have i'm um, creating a random data set whether based on this attributes outlook temperature humidity whether a person can play or not play and this is a very uh, famous weather data set which is widely used so these are our headings so we'll have our headings or the attribute names on the top row okay and each of the attribute values will form an instance so now i'm going to create an instance i'm just aligning it a bit so it's better to look at so i can have the attribute values for outlook as sunny overcast and rainy i'm just creating three instances and just add some random temperature values this is just a sample data file which is a uh, very small minimal then i have the humidity values as uh, normal high then i'm adding whether it is windy or not windy so based on each of these instances we are going to decide whether it is possible to play or not so sunny outlook sunny temperature 20 humidity normal windy true play yes this is one instance okay so we have three instances now that i have the data i'll first save this file as a csv okay so go for your preferred location I'll just name it as say weather two, and I'll save this as type. This is very important. You have to save it as CSV. Okay, CSV UTF eight is what I'm preferring. So I'll save it as CSV file. CSV basically stands for comma separated values. So your attributes, when opened in different file format, will give you comma separated values. Okay. Now this file is saved. I'm going to check for the location whether it is actually saved. we can see whether to it is saved as a csv file okay now i'm going to open it to notepad because beka will not take just csv file in order to run your data you need something called as dot arf format okay so this is how we are creating dot arf format so you can have we have to edit the file in this format you can add a relation whether to is the file name okay and then in the next line this is very important if you do not have it in an exact format you not be able to open the file in beka uh, focus here uh, after edit editing is done you can even take a screenshot and keep for your reference so here i am going to define each one of this attributes and their values so you have to use first at relation file name in the first line and at the second line you can have at attribute what is my first attribute outlook and what are the values for outlook sunny overcast and rainy next similarly you can define each of the attributes so my next attribute would be temperature right so here we have five attributes so for my ease of creating the file i like five five attributes and then give the details of each of the attributes okay you can follow the same format just copy paste it will save your time so my next attribute is temperature and even this in copying and pasting so that uh, you know it just saves time and you do not make mistakes and then we have humidity 
and then we have windy and play so arff is attribute to relation file format which is yt yushin becca and uh, this format is supported and Coming back to this attributes, you can see that temperature has numerical values. So instead of defining, I'm like outlook, I'm just going to write it as real. And next coming to humidity, you can see also consider the values from here. Humidity has normal and high. You need not add repeated values, just add the unique values that are available. So unique is normal and high. So we are just going to add normal and high over here. comma high yes and then i've got windy windy i've got only true values true and false so i'm just going ahead and adding those values and then you have got play yes or no right now that we have defined the relation and we have defined the attribute and their value pairs the next is to highlight that whatever is there this is the data so you have to add add data here after a line add our data and now you can remove this line okay because you have already defined this attributes above and you can backspace this and then you have your file ready all you have to do is you have to save this file in arff format so before that let's just run a quick check we have at relation and then we have the file name weather to yes exactly whatever you have the same file name and then we have verified all the attributes from the C, uh, csv file outlook temperature humidity when play and all the values yes and now you can go for observe this carefully save as you can see here at the end of the file do, add dot ar ff okay and save as type instead of dot txt make it as all files okay and go ahead and click on save and this also you can make it as utf8 okay encoding and click on save over here yes now the file is saved let's go and check it so you can see that the file has veka logo you can see veka logo on the file so this file is saved as ARFF data file. You can see its properties as well. So if you open it, the file will directly open on Veka. You have to double click to open it. And you can see the file in Veka and you can see the associated visualization. So that's it.